Hey guys, it's Mrs. McCallie again. Today's book is called One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies. And this book is dedicated to Seth Hibizos. He had asked me last week during our Google Meet if he could pick a book, which he picked this one, One Tiny Turtle, and if I would dedicate the book to him. So the next clip you're going to see is a picture of Seth. Hope you enjoy the book. Far, far out to sea. Land is only a memory. An empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of the sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice the turtle. Not much bigger than a bottle cap, she hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just little fish bites could rip her open, but the turtle's safe in her own world of weeds and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimp. Turtles have shells that cover their back and shells that cover their stomachs. Their shells are made from bony plates that get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. The tiny turtle swims around flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is flying underwater and she pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a quick breath. So fast, if you blink, you will miss it. Then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, the turtle rides on the storms and floats through the hot clams. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, She's vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up to close to the land. Bigger than a dinner plate now, she's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is hard as armor and her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown with her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from the deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hens' eggs in their heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and Loggerhead disappears once again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search for food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles where she finds juicy clams and some shrimp. And in winter, the turquoise lagoons warm as a, as warm as a bath where she can munch among the corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. One good luck will catch you, well, you will catch a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, she arrives in the beach where she was born. She found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Male turtles wait just off the nesting beaches. They mate with the females. Then the females come ashore and they lie their eggs. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's big as a barrel now floating in the sea and she weighs nothing. But on land, she's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle and her eyes stream with her salty tears, which help keep them free of sand. Coming ashore is very risky for sea turtles. They can easily overheat and die. So they only nest at night or in the cool water. Then they get back in the sea as soon as possible. Loggerheads makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside, she lays her eggs like a hundred squiggly ping pong balls. Afterward, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from the hungry mouths. The loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. Females stay close to their nesting beach for several months. In that time, they usually make at least four nests and sometimes as many as ten. And before the summer's over, they wiggle from their shells. 
Tiny eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand is cool, they can take three weeks longer. Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for the meal, so the hatchlings wait until night. The horizon where the sea meets the sky tells baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water, but street lights and buildings are next to the beach they can confuse them and make them go the wrong way. Then they burst through the sand and skitter towards the sea. In the dark claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day she'll remember this beach and she will come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims. She swims and swims out in the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. The end. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this beautiful story about the one tiny turtle. Have a great day. Bye.